Yeah, Arthur, I suppose you do look pretty tough and intimidating with that Colt there. But thing is, I still got an advantage over you. Hi, I'm Dustin Weiniger. Arthur here, he doesn't realize I've got a big advantage over him and his Colt single action army. The advantage being, mine's real. Ever since the release recently of Red Dead Redemption 2, my channel has been flooded with new viewers watching my videos about the Colt Single Action Army. According to YouTube analytics, my viewership is usually mostly made up of people in the age range of 45 to 65, but in the last couple of weeks it's been 18 to 24, which tells me I have a lot of young people who are video game enthusiasts, or gamers, I suppose, and so this video is for you. I wanted to give you a close-up look at the Colt Single Action Army, a real one, not a video game one. And just for full disclosure, this one, like my other quote-unquote Colt revolvers, is made by an Italian company called Pieta, but it is a very good replica of the actual Colt. Here's a picture from the video game of Arthur holding his Colt Single Action Army, and you can see they really went to great detail on this thing, and I'm impressed. Just a couple of things wrong that I'll spot and point out to you. You'll notice on the front of the frame, which on the real one, right here, in the picture you can see a seam right there as if the frame is two pieces sandwiched together. Well, here on the real one you can see that's not the case. The frame is all one solid piece and on the real one right here there is a base pin screw which holds this base pin in place. That base pin is what the cylinder rotates on. And here in the picture again you can see the screw is missing. Honestly though, I'm not going to let these little details bother me. After all, it's a video game and I think they did good enough. Even the screws here on the gun, they got almost in exactly the right place in this picture. Well now let's talk about the loading procedure of a Colt single action army because I did notice it's a little unrealistic in the game. Here's what it looks like in real life. If I open the loading gate, now my chambers are exposed. Now I'll go through this slowly for those of you who haven't used a real one. If I take a cartridge, and these are just dummy rounds for safety, you'll notice at this point it won't load into the chamber because the chamber is not uh, lined up with that opening. But if I pull the hammer to half cock, now it is, and the cylinder is now free to spin. So, the loading procedure is called the cowboy load, and it looks like this. I load one, then I skip the next chamber. And then I load one, two, three, four. Then I close the gate, pull the hammer to full cock, and as I do that, the one that I skipped is now directly below the hammer, which means I can release it, and the hammer is resting on an empty chamber. Now, why would I not load all six rounds? Well, on the old Colt Single Action Army, the firing pin is attached to the hammer, which means if I lowered it down on a live round, that hammer is resting right on a primer. Now, if you go to my video, the cowboy load, and I'll leave a link in the description, I did a demonstration that if that hammer is bumped, it will fire that round. And that means if it's bumped in your holster, you could be shooting yourself in the leg or the foot. So the safe way to load it is to load five, even though, yes, video games and movies do show it incorrectly with six rounds. Now, in the comments section on my cowboy load video, a lot of people asked, why don't you just pull the hammer to the safety notch right there? which keeps the primer from resting, or excuse me, the hammer from resting on the primer. Well, even though Colt's original intention was for that to be a safety, it is not reliable. There's just a tiny amount of steel holding that in place, and it's easily broken, which will cause the same problem of the gun going off in a holster. My friend Duke Frazier over at the channel Duke Frazier Productions pointed out to me that even in Colt's ordinance report from 1873, they broke that safety during their report, and so even Colt Company itself calls it a design flaw, and it should never be trusted. So when loading the single action army cylinder, it's five rounds, not six. And you saw how long it can take to do it. Not bad, but a little time consuming. Now let's take a look at how Arthur does it in Red Dead Redemption 2. Well, obviously that speed is a little unrealistic. But hey, you know, it's a video game, and I'm just impressed they even got the loading gate right. So don't be bothered by these little details I'm showing you that are wrong. Instead, I would say be very impressed, because Rockstar Games really did a good job on this. Now let's look at the unloading procedure on a Colt Single Action Army. 
I'm going to open the gate, and again, at this point, the chambers are not lined up with the opening, so the rounds don't come out. But as I pull it to half cock, now I can move it over, and because these are just dummy rounds that have not been fired, they'll actually just fall right out. But if they had been fired, the brass on the cases expands and they get stuck in the chambers, which is why we need an ejector. That can be pulled down, and it has a rod, you can see, comes out right here, pushing those empty brass cases out. So I would just rotate the next one into place and pop it free. And now, like I said, they're going to fall out on me. But they eject with that ejector just like that. And then the gun is empty and can be loaded up again. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this overview today. Uh, that are the features of a real Colt single action army. And again, Rockstar Games, they really got it right. Here's another little footage piece from the game. And you can see one being customized here. And that's a nice feature because in reality, in the old days, they really were customizable. They were available in different barrel lengths, different grips, different, you know, colors. This one that I have here is the original configuration with the walnut grips, the case hardened frame, and then the blued steel for the trigger guard, the cylinder, and the barrel. The barrels were available in different lengths. This is the seven and a half inch, but they were also available in five and a half and four and three quarters. I just prefer the long barrel myself. Well, why don't we end this video with a little bit of gun smoke and head outside and I'll show you this thing in action. Well, I know it's a little unusual to talk about video games here on my channel, but I've just been flooded with new young viewers who are video gamers having played this Red Dead Redemption 2, and so I thought I'd just clear up a few things and give an overview of the beautiful Colt Single Action Army, as it is one of my favorite revolvers. Now, I'm not a gamer myself, but because so many of you have left comments lately on my other videos suggesting and saying I must try that game, I want you all to know... I ordered it, and we'll see how it goes. I'll give it a try, maybe even do a video on it at a future time. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Please click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check the description on where to find me on social media. Thank you so much for watching.